I was trying to rent a car, and the bloke said to me, you're not covered for acts of God. I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, <laughs> I said, can you be a little bit more specific? He went, uh, uh, uh. I said, I'm intrigued, because you say acts of God are not gods, or spirits, or jinn, or nymphs. But God, a capital God, a monotheistic religion, uh, maybe a Judeo-Christian religion, which would imply a belief system, uh, which would perhaps lead to free will and determinism. So logically, anything that man does, directly or indirectly, is in fact an act of God. So I'm not covered for anything. <laughs> and he said, I'll get the manager. <laughs> and I said, define an act of God. What do you mean by that? And he said, I don't know, a plague of locusts or something. A plague of locusts? Swarm round the vehicle, rip the wing mirrors off, I'm liable for £50 excess. <laughs> and he said, no, like rain or something. I said, yeah, but how much rain? It's drizzling a bit now. Is that an act of God? At what point does the rain reach a certain level beyond which it takes on the more apocalyptic mantle of the water-based punishment of the Lord? <laughs> and he said, I just work Saturdays. I said, you can't uh, answer me, can you? Your policy is riddled with theological inconsistency. You disgust me, you twist and turn. You remind me of the Siberian hunting spider that adopts a highly convincing limp in three of its eight legs in order to attract its main source of prey, the so-called Samaritan squirrel. <laughs> which takes pity on the spider, then the spider jumps on it and injects the paralyzing venom, and the squirrel remains bafflingly philosophical about the whole thing. Not to be confused with the Ukrainian hunting spider, which actually has got a limp and is, as uh, such, completely harmless and a little bit bitter about the whole thing. <laughs> Siberian spider have good leg, have nice day, can catch fly, make web, uh, catch fly for family. I can do nothing, my leg is dragged behind, I drag. And you laugh, you make fun. Oh, ha, big joke. I am failure, I am freak. But in my dreams I can fly, I'm the greatest spider in town. But then I awake and it's cold and I feel so old and my legs are dragging me down. <laughs> and, uh, and then the manager came out and he said, stop all that spider singing. Uh, <laughs> pointed to a sign on the wall, spider with a line through it. Uh, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> He said, I can offer you an upgrade, 50 quid, we can include in it policy set in place by the Marquis de Laplace, the French scientist who declared all things in the universe are predetermined, so you would be covered even if time travel is invented during a period of rental. <laughs> and I said, nah, probably leave it. And he said, I can rent to you because your destiny is foretold. And I went, what do you mean? He goes, you are Frank Makhar, rightful heir to the kingdom of... I said, no, I was just winding you up before. He went, yeah, so was I. <laughs> Your Majesty. 